Welcome. In this particular short lecture, we're going to have a look at how we can draw um, a tiled background making use of an image tile. Tiling uh, tends to be used in quite a few different games. It's ideal for one where you have a top-down view and there's a large area within which the player can move around. For that, you can have a nice uh, background tile. It's seamless, so if you draw it next to each other, you don't see the, the joins. But we can draw that in a way that we, we give them the appearance of a, a continuous background that's underneath it. So it is reasonably commonly used to provide uh, such a form of draw request. It's important, I suppose, to point out that this is different than if you have a tile-based environment. We have a two-dimensional array of tiles where admittedly a number of those adjacent tiles may actually be the same and you sort of can draw them continuously as well. Here we've only got one tile and we are assuming it is endlessly tiled in, uh, in both directions to be exactly the same tile. So it's more of a, a virtual two-dimensional um, array. So we're all having a bit of a ponder as to how you think you would do this. Uh, so particularly if you wanted to create uh, an algorithm we have a, view, a viewport uh, sort of with VW and VH for its uh, height. And it's start location VX, VY. Uh, again, we're assuming here it's sort of the, the, the bottom uh, left hand corner, but it's an arbitrary choice. And onto that, we're drawing a tile uh, with a start location again with the bottom left hand corner with a, a tile width and a tile height. So, how would you create an algorithm that would go around this and uh, populate and fill in all of the viewport by tiling that particular image. So you might want to sort of pause this here and take five or ten minutes to, to think about how it is you would do that. By way of a hand wavy algorithm, uh, this type of thing would work. We're going to start drawing uh, as much of the initial tile as we can. So it's going to overlap uh, at VX, VY. This is the starting point of our, our viewport. And for our initial tile, we'll draw as much as we can within that particular uh, draw request. Now we've got a choice. We do sort of tile along the X first of all, or tile along the Y. Here we're going to tile along the Y first of all. So we move up the Y axis uh, to the point where we finish drawing that first tile. And we're going to draw another tile there. Um, we'll just see how much we can do then. We've already calculated the X location. It's going to be our same starting one, so we'll use that. And we'll keep doing that process until we have drawn horizontally all of the, the, that particular strip of the viewport. Once we've done that, we then move along the x-axis uh, to the next bit. And we're going to repeat uh, steps, in this case 2, 3, 4 and 5, to draw in all of that particular horizontal strip. And then we keep repeating the process overall until we've filled in all of the vertical strips too. Um, so, so reasonably simple, reasonably straightforward, um, but by way of, of, of how we can uh, uh, approach this. So we'll have a look now at how we can create some code around that. So here's our setup. We have a number of uh, variables. We're going to have a, a draw X and draw Y offset. These are relative to the viewport. So these are the location that we're drawing things in for the viewport. We'll have a tile X and a tile Y offset, and that's the chunk of the viewport that we're drawing out. And initially, we'll set it equal to, to sort of relative position to the uh, start of the uh, draw viewport. And we'll have a draw width and a draw height, and that is the portion of the image that we're drawing out um, to it. So this may look a little bit different, but it actually is very, very similar to when we were selecting a region. Uh, to be drawn of, of a game object within the viewport. It's exactly the same as that, except we will be iterating over to fill in uh, each part of the viewport in turn. So we've got two while loops. Uh, initially, our outer while is the one where we're uh, doing uh, strips along the x-axis and moving along, uh, displaying vertical strips at each point until all of the horizontal uh, reach has been done. And the inner while loop is where we are doing each of these uh, vertical strips uh, going up. At the start of each of the vertical strips, we'll reset our Y offsets back to the beginning. We're going to fill in all of the Y components and reset our, um, our, our, our tile while, uh, Y offset back to wherever the bottom of the viewport is. 
Inside that, it then is more or less identical to the type of decision that we were looking at when we were um, working out if an object is visible within the viewport. And you can see at the, the bottom there's three uh, cases. Either the tile is fully visible within the viewport, and we have to draw all of it, not all of its width. Alternatively, part of the tile may be off or before the viewport, and we want to chop that bit off. Well, the third option is part of the tile may actually extend beyond the viewport on the right hand side and to chop that off. So the two lines we have here simply are working out um, what it is we should be drawing and chopping it down uh, as need be. So we do that for the X, for, for the width, we do it for the Y, for the height, exactly the same as we did for the viewport. At this point we then know uh, the region of the tile that we can draw to the screen. We don't have any scaling here because we're assuming that to one uh, texel element within our, 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 our tile we can draw to one pixel element on the, the screen, so we're assuming it's a one-to-one -one mapping. Having done that, we finally then have the remaining bits of our while loop, and these are the ones that iterate uh, or move things along so that we, for example, increase the draw the y offset by the draw height, and we work out what is the new y offset and do exactly the same for the x offset uh, as well for the draw and for the tile coordinates. So that simply steps through the while loops, uh, increasing it uh, by one tile's width each time until we've filled in the whole viewport. So by way of a simple takeaway on this, uh, you can tile images if you want to. Uh, it gives you quite a useful mechanism of getting an easy background. Uh, particularly within a large top-down scroller.